Nuclear explosions are caused by weapons such as H-bombs or atom bombs. They are like ordinary explosions, only many times more powerful. They cause great heat and blast. They also make a cloud of deadly dust which falls slowly to the ground. This is what is called fallout. So these are the two dangers. First, heat and blast, which is followed by fallout. The heat and blast is so severe that it can kill and can destroy buildings for up to five miles from the explosion. You can protect yourself and your family. And later on, we will show you what steps to take. statement from President Reagan. My fellow Americans, we of the United States government wish that we would not have to dictate such a message to our citizens, but the unprecedented circumstances have reversed our stances. With the gratuitous situation that has begun to transpire with extreme tensions between our United States and the Soviet Union and the newly reformed nation of Iran, an armed invasion has begun with Soviet troops entering Iranian territory. With this now in play, the mobilization of U.S. troops will occur in the western and southern portions of Iran to protect from the Soviet invasion. The United States government has been forced, reluctantly, to take action to safeguard what it believes are legitimate western interests in the Middle East. What to make of this war is a question that cannot be simply answered at this time. But given the chances of an escalation, at worst case, nuclear-type conflict could spire from the already petrifying concept of this current war. With the relatively unknown nature of this conflict involving our nation, not much more can be built upon what has already been laid. However, a clear message must be communicated to our opponents, our adversaries. This greatly unjustified war that has been brought upon by your officials is a reason for distress in our modern world. The lust for the ideological spread of communism as desired by a regime introduces the prospect of extreme deterioration of a society and administration's actions will become the reason that innocent citizens have to suffer alone. With that being said, we are confident that the Soviet Union will take note of our resolve and will desist from its present course of action. Take this message with your greatest consideration for the lives of fellow humans. By disregarding our conclusions, it will be your downfall. Thank you. We're interrupting our programming to bring you some breaking news. Minutes ago, the President of the United States made a public announcement that he will be sending American troops into western Iran in response to the recent invasion by the Soviet Union, including the attack on a U.S. vessel causing the deaths of 127 people. To quote the U.S. President, the United States government has been forced, reluctantly, to take action to safeguard what it believes are legitimate western interests in the Middle East. Units of the Rapid Deployment Force have been sent to locations in Iran, presumably Isfahan. In the same speech, the President was also quoted as saying, We are confident that the Soviet Union will take note of our resolve and desist from its present course of action. As tensions rise between the United States and the Soviet Union, it leaves the rest of the world to question, what could this lead to, as a hellish war may soon, possibly, be on the horizon? Oliver Patel, BBC One. in 
Sheffield have turned extremely violent, leading to widespread damage across the city, numerous counts of looting, and mass casualties being reported. To deal with the rapidly worsening situation, we have no choice but to use brute force to protect life and property from being destroyed. A mandatory curfew has been enacted for the city of Sheffield until the situation improves. You are to return to your homes immediately and not leave them until 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. This is your final warning to return to your homes and dissolve. If you are caught outside during the curfew, you will be detained or, as a last resort, shot on sight. This is not a drill. If you do not return to your homes immediately, you will be detained or shot on sight. We have interrupted our regular programming to relay a message from Her Majesty's government. Please pay close attention. A message from Her Majesty. Ladies and gentlemen, I write this as a warning to the citizens of this country. I am sure you are all aware of the conflict in the Middle East with the Soviet invasion. Although the United States has been keeping them back ever since their troops landed in Iran earlier, it's still evident that they are growing powerful by the minute. I have been watching closely as tensions continue to rise between the US and the Soviets. I'm going to protect this country as best it can be protected. I have already sent a small majority of our military to the borders of Europe as reinforcements. While many have seen this as illogical, I must help my neighbors and support them as they have supported me through these troubling times. I plan to send more should the situation worsen over there. I understand your cries of fear. I do not want to put this country into war, and will never do so willingly. However, the outrage that has broken out over Sheffield these last few days makes me increasingly more terrified. To those who are protesting peacefully, I see you and I hear you. But to those who have resorted to violence, you are doing nothing but continuing to put this country further into its own internal war. You deserve what is coming to you, and I share no mercy for what happens to you. If we want to ensure our safety, we have to work together as a nation. Please be there for one another. Make sure everyone around you is safe during these troubling times. And, most importantly, remain civil and safe during these times. Breaking news coming from a report originating in Washington, D.C. An incredibly tedious and dangerous chain of events has emerged. 
At an unknown time earlier today, the United States launched a confirmed B-52 missile strike on the Soviet Union's Mashhad base. As a response, the Soviet Union has retaliated with its own missile attack, tip of the nuclear warhead. This warhead struck the Fort Campbell military base near Clarksville, Tennessee. The third and final response was sent on behalf of the U.S., launching a nuclear-tipped battlefield weapon on the Mashhad base. This predicament stretched out for two hours and has since ended. No special coverage is available at the moment as to keep our reporters safe from the radiation and potential retaliation. Thank you for tuning into this emergency program. I am Whitmore Cooley. Stay tuned to NBC. This is an emergency broadcast from the Home Office. A nuclear attack has been detected against the United Kingdom. Approximately 104 Soviet ICBMs carrying nuclear warheads are inbound to the United Kingdom. Targets are unknown at the current moment. However, all major cities are now being immediately evacuated in an orderly manner. The Queen's condition is unknown at this time. However, it is said Her Majesty has been safely relocated. You must take all precautionary measures now to prevent loss of life. Emergency shelters have been opened up in areas where it is believed there will be no impact. You must provide your own supplies with you, including food, water, and medicine. These shelters operate on a first-come, first-served basis and once they reach their capacity you will be... White House to bring an urgent message. A large-scale nuclear attack on major urban areas in the United States has been conducted. A final count of six missiles likely tipped with nuclear warheads has been detected. Targets have been deduced and confirmed as New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, Philadelphia, and Houston. A calculated total of around 10 minutes remain until impact. Those in a 10-mile radius of the blast will face severe consequences as a result of thermal radiation. Those in a 5-mile radius of the blast are lost. If you remain in this radius, you will die from extreme heat, ionizing radiation, or disease caused by extreme levels of fallout and radiation, which include fatal forms of cancer. If you are in a 10 to 30-mile radius of the blast, you should not evacuate. Blast damage and fallout will be prevented to evacuate with little cause nor harm to yourself and others. Find a shelter and supply yourself with food, clean water, and medical supplies. Without a proper shelter, you can face permanent neurological damage from whiplash. Those outside a 30-mile radius of blast zones are free to evacuate, preferably to rural areas outside of urban proximity. This aus der UDSS here has begun. Aufgrund eines Windvorteils in den Händen der Opposition, nämlich Westwinde, werden viele Großstädte, einschließlich derjenigen nahe der Ost-West-Grenze, angegriffen werden. Diese Städte sind unter anderem Düsseldorf, Hamburg, Hannover, Dortmund, München und Stuttgart werden betroffen sein. Beachten Sie, dass diese Angriffe nicht die einzigen sind. Andere, weniger städtische Gebiete werden ebenfalls bombardiert, möglicherweise mit nuklearen Sprengköpfen. Da fast alle Länder in irgendeiner Weise betroffen sind, wird von einer Evakuierung abgeraten. Suchen Sie sofort Schutz. Am besten sollten Sie sich in einem Innenraum auf der untersten Ebene Ihres Hauses unterstellen. 
Vorräte für 14 bis 21 Tage sind ebenfalls für die Sicherheit und das Überleben notwendig. Um die besten Lebens- und Überlebensbedingungen zu schaffen, werden folgende Vorräte empfohlen. Nicht verderbliche Lebensmittel, sauberes Wasser, zusätzliche Kleidung, medizinische Hilfsmittel und zweite Stromversorgungs... This is CTV, interrupting its regular programming for an urgent emergency bulletin. This is an attack warning from North American Aerospace Defense Command. This is not a test. Nuclear missiles have been detected on an inbound course to Canada and the United States of America. The major cities of Toronto, Montreal, Calgary, Ottawa, Edmonton, Winnipeg, Vancouver, Hamilton, Quebec City, Windsor, Regina, Thunder Bay, and St. John have been targeted by Soviet nuclear weapons. If you are within any of these major cities, you must immediately evacuate or seek shelter. It is estimated that there is less than five minutes remaining until these nuclear missiles will make their impacts. Power, water and communication services will be severed upon impact. Emergency services will become indefinitely unavailable upon impact. If you have not done so, you should move to or set up your fallout room. Take with you enough food, water and medicine to last you a minimum of 14 days inside your fallout room. If you are outdoors or in a vehicle, locate a shelter immediately or find the lowest land point and assume a blast position. Voici CTV qui interrompt sa programmation régulière pour un bulletin d'urgence. Ceci est un avertissement d'attaque du commandement de la défense aérospatiale de l'Amérique du Nord. Ce n'est pas un test. Des missiles nucléaires ont été détectés en route vers le Canada et les États-Unis d'Amérique. Les grandes villes de Toronto, Montréal, Calgary, Ottawa, Edmonton... for BBC One News at the top of the hour. The British Reserve Army has finally been able to conduct a relatively successful survey of the damaged area. It was completed earlier on today at around midday and the numbers dead or missing are estimated to be in the high millions. We've sent out one of our reporters as close as we could safely get him to the epicentre of the attack earlier in Sheffield and we asked him in detail what he saw. What I'm about to read is his full report. The scene out here is devastating. Whatever you're thinking it looks like right now, it's a million times worse than that. This used to be a city, but I couldn't even recognize where I was when I first got here. Nothing is left. Nothing remains more than five miles outward. It's one of the worst things you could ever possibly see or imagine. I'd approximate the death toll to be in the multi-millions, and millions more should probably die from the fallout alone. There is nothing left for me here, so I'm leaving now. The following is a message from the United States government. Damage across the continental United States is, to say the least, extremely grim. Most major cities in the United States have been completely leveled, and once thriving communities, holding hundreds of thousands of people, are left unrecognizable after the impacts. Fallout is still extremely potent across the entire continent of the United States, leading to millions of deaths, most likely leading to millions more, due to radiation-related illnesses. And what remains of the United States is a barren, lifeless wasteland, claimed by the aftermath of a nuclear holocaust. Little remains in the United States government, and because of this, we are left with no other choice but to disband altogether. 
power will be distributed to the states during this period as we attempt to rebuild. We cannot help you now. If you wish to survive, you must fend for yourself. Try to utilize your surroundings as much as possible. Since food sources are becoming increasingly more scarce across the entire world, you should start planning to make your own food. You should prioritize planting crops that require minimal sunlight to grow, such as grass or seaweed. As temperatures continue to drop, you should cover yourself in multiple layers of heavy clothing to prevent hypothermia. As we continue to mourn what we've lost during these attacks, find peace in knowing that we will retaliate, we will rebuild, and we will always come back stronger than we were before. No matter what happens to this great country, we will forever take our American spirit with us, one nation under God. Мои товарищи, сегодня мы наконец-то заставили подчиниться нашего величайшего капиталистического врага. Родина одержала победу в многолетнем конфликте между врагами с неутешительными результатами, но сегодня все изменится к лучшему. Сегодня правительство Соединенных Штатов распущено, что официально ознаменовало победу Советского Союза. Вскоре мы поспешим освободить американских граждан, раскрыв объятия избитому и заброшенному гражданскому населению. Многие гражданские лица уже были приняты в Советский Союз тем или иным способом. Вместе мы будем править сильнее, чем когда-либо. Слава Советскому Союзу!
No fiddlesticks. What now? Did I see that correctly? I did. I did. It split part two. It split. Yeah!